Hello everyone, photographer Ronix from Wrong Photographer and today we're going to be learning about how to save your photos for Instagram. You know, this tutorial basically is based uh, about how to best save your images for Instagram. There are usually cases whereby after spending so many hours retouching or editing an image and now you have to post it on Instagram or different social media platforms your images turn out to be compressed and pixelated so they tend to lose quality and you really get disappointed that at the end of your uploading process like the image is not as sharp as the image you are editing initially for all those hours so this tutorial is basically for you guys so usually i'll start by the cropping ratio for instagram you know Instagram usually has a size or a crop ratio for all the images posted on their platform and for that uh, you have first of all crop all your images in a ratio of 4 to 5 ratio so let me repeat that you have to first of all crop your images in a ratio of 4 to 5 or 8 by 10 ratio so come to your crop icon right here but uh, the image I'm using right now is already a cropped image. So I'm just go going to do some little bit of demonstration. So I'm just going to come to the crop tool. So this is the crop tool. So come right here, drop down and come to 4 to 5 ratio. The reason for using this kind of ratio is because we want the image to occupy the whole screen and uh, it doesn't enable us like to crop the images yet again so instagram basically has two crop ratios that is the square and this 8 to 10 ratio so if at all you're shooting images you have to take it in mind that uh your all your images have to be in this ratio the 45 ratio so if at all you're shooting an image you have to take into consideration that at one point you're going to crop off uh, the negative space so if at all you don't have enough negative space right above uh, the subject you're shooting uh, you're going to end up cropping part of the model or part of the image if at all you shot it in a uh, portrait form so you have to take that into consideration so if at all you left space when you're shooting uh, maybe a model who are standing you left enough space on top of her head or in the foreground of the model when you crop it uh, in a ratio of 4 to 5 ratio uh, you'll still have the model in the frame of the picture so first of all you crop the image into 4 to 5 ratio that is it so basically after cropping that uh, you have to make sure your image is in a higher bit so by by bit i mean uh, images with uh, a higher bit like bit they tend to have a better and more crisp clear quality so by that you have to come right here sorry uh, you have to come to image right here then come to uh, image sorry you have to come to image then come to mod and select a higher bit ratio for your image so the higher the bit ratio the more crisp clear your image is going to be but for this case I'm going to use 16 bits because I don't want to go yet overboard for this very image so first of all you have to change uh, the bit ratio for your image so that you have a good nice and crisp clear image that you're going to be saving later on so in this tutorial I'm also going to be sharing with you guys uh, the best ways and the mistakes most people are do when they are trying to uh, save their images for social media so after you have transformed uh, your image uh, you see the bit yeah 
the bit ratio is going to be just right here so you can see we have just changed it from 8 to 16 bit so that means we are going to be having a better and more crisp clear image that is going to be saved so after doing that we are going to also start saving the image for instagram and before we can do that uh, i'm going to show you guys the mistakes i myself have been doing for quite a while now so i know most people tend to come to file then come to save as then they save the image in a way they really want so the thing is when you do come and save the image like in jpeg and most of the time when you save when you use the save as option you'll have a color shift uh by color shift i mean the incident whereby you save your image and when you post it on maybe social media or a given website uh the image uh the image has a quite different color from uh, the image you are having in your photoshop so i wouldn't advise you to use the save as option secondly the second mistake uh, people use is coming right here to file then they come to export then they come to export as so after coming to export as of course as usual the image is going to bring for us that window whereby we are going to uh, feed in those uh, details or the numbers so when i know most people prefer to export their images in a uh, png and by png i mean your images are not going to be as sharp as that so when you save that in png your photo or your image is not going to be as sharp it is still going to be compressed so i know most people tend to come right here to format then they just come and click on png that is also not an approved way for saving or exporting your images for instagram so i know they'll just come and feed in everything like that but uh, this is not also a right way then others will also just come and uh you have to save your images in a uh, jpeg so png is not a, a really advisable because first of all you're going to have a color shift then secondly uh, secondly you're going to also have uh, a compressed or pixelated image posted on your instagram so imagine spending all those hours trying to edit an image and you post it on instagram and um, it gets uh, pixelated and uh, looks like it is a low quality image so you don't want to be that disappointed so that is uh, the other mistake most people do so right now i'm going to be sharing with you guys the best and i think the most approved way for saving your images for instagram so that they don't lose quality when you post them and they are really sharp and crisp clear so we are going to come right back to file so when you come to file come to export but this time around we are, we are not going to export as png no we are not we are not also going to export as no we are going to come to save for web legacy so when you click on save for web legacy remember this option uh, really enables enables us to get the right settings for posting the images uh, to different websites or maybe a different social media uh, platforms so when you do that uh, you'll get your image uh, like this in this uh, very window right here so first of all you have first come and make sure it is a jpeg image not png but a jpeg image then also come and ensure that uh, the quality is uh, in maximum because we want the best out of the image then when you click on maximum you can see when you click medium even these values are going to uh, change so when you come to maximum uh, you'll get a 100 percent quality 
that is the maximum quality so the next thing you would want to do is to make sure you embed the color profile the reason for embedding the color profile in your images is because we want the image to have the ex same exact colors the way we were retouching it or the way we had color graded it in our photoshop so that's why we have to embed uh, this color profile and also have to convert it to srgb and the preview has to be of course as uh, a monitor preview so we are going to come right down here and first of all we want to ensure the image is going to be sharp enough and before we can ensure that uh, first of all uh, remember uh, when we are using the other, other option of uh, saving as then uh, you can uh, maybe sorry when you're using the export as option uh, most of the times uh, we tend to feed in uh, those details like uh, the height and uh, width options we tend to feed in the ones maybe instagram maybe accepts yeah and we are only limited to that so most of the times when we're exporting as we put in 10 1080 by uh, 1350 pixels so we are kind of limited with the other option of uh exporting as so but for this option we can even go really overboard by even putting over 2000 pixels for the image so we can just go for 2000 pixels and you can see uh, it really gives us a wider option so we can go for 2000 and when you put in 2000 of course the height is going to be changed automatically so we can go with uh, 2000 by 2500 pixels then also come and make sure uh, your quality so just click and drop down on the quality and make sure the quality is by cubic sharper because we we really want a very very sharp image and that is not going to be compressed that's why we are selecting by cubic sharper so by cubic sharper is going to give us uh it's going to add some little bit of sharpening to the overall image so after doing that just come and uh, click save yes click save so when you click save uh it will, it is going to give you a location where you're going to save your image and when you do that uh, your image is going to be saved and when you post it or upload it on instagram it is going to be really sharp and very different from the images you have been seeing on instagram or posting uh, earlier on before because uh, most of the times you have been using the wrong methods to save your images for instagram so i think and i hope this uh, video is going to change as you have been exporting your images or saving your images for instagram and you are totally going to see a difference in your photo uh, your photos or your instagram feed so if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to click the like button on this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget